Hello there, you're watching Epicenter on CNN News 18. I'm Maha Siddiqui. Men can marry at the age of 21, but marrying girls off at a younger age of 18 is valid. Was this discrepancy based on any logical or scientific reason? No. It was largely based on the social construct, the patriarchy that allowed men to take a call on what they think is best for women. So naturally, when the age-old trend has been challenged, there is opposition from various community leaders. The bill to this effect for changing this age has now been sent to a select committee. And considering vote bank politics at play more often than not, will this opposition be enough to derail the move? Can the law bring about the much needed social change with this kind of opposition? That's what we'll debate this evening on Epicenter. But before that, we're getting some updates with regards to an attack that has taken place uh, in Anantnag. We are learning that uh, a cop has been killed in Anantnag. One civilian has also died in Srinagar. So uh, there is uh, this attack that has taken place in which a cop has been killed in Anantnag. More details uh, uh, will just be patched with our reporter in Srinagar to get more details on that. Meanwhile, on the other hand, a civilian is also dead in Srinagar. The cop has been killed in a terror attack. Are the initial details that are coming in. Mufti Isla is joining us with more. Mufti, take us through what information we have at the moment with regards to the, the incident in Anantnag where a cop has been killed in a terror attack. Well, that's right. Uh, in fact, uh, Assistant Sub Inspector of Police, uh, Mohammad Ashraf, uh, he was fired at, he was tweet, two bullets, one in the neck and another in the chest. Subsequently, what the police did there, uh, they tried to first rush him to the SDH of hospital in Bejbera, but upon learning that he was critical, they started to rush for Srinagar. However, he succumbed uh, to his injuries. Uh, we believe that uh, he was near the SDH uh, of Bejbera when he was fired at. Uh, clearly, he was the second attack which militants had launched, and TRF is now claiming responsibility for this attack. In fact, TRF has said that uh, both these people were very close to the police, although one was a policeman already, but he was working with uh, the special operation group. And they've said that Rolf, who was a civilian who was killed earlier in Eidga area, uh, he is alias Bunty, and he happened to be a police informant. That is what the TRF has claimed in its press release, which is, was released in the social media. Uh, clearly, two attacks taking place within a span of 30 minutes, and it seems that uh, even if police is claiming that uh, they have uh, done away with most of the TRF modules, but it seems that they're finding new ways uh, in, in attacking both civilians as well as uh, men in uniform. Yes. And uh, clearly this is up to times that we have witnessed this police claiming on one day that uh, they have killed X uh, module or Y module, but next day it seems that the TRF again finding its way to eliminate uh, those uh, civilians. Clearly, mm. Uh, mm. the place where I am in, uh, there is a lot of security cordon. In fact, police along with CRPF have moved into the interior areas to see whether there is any militant. So far, there has been no contact. And it seems that militants are using this darkness when they attack uh, civilians or for that matter, policemen, uh, then they run away, uh, taking advantage of the darkness. Uh, it seems that today also similar thing has happened. All right, uh, Mufti getting us those details there of uh, once again a cop being killed in a terror attack there in Anantnag, a civilian being killed in Srinagar as well. Let's move on now and get back to our debate on the age of marriage for women, which is now being increased to 21. The matter came up in Parliament. It was discussed in uh, the Lok Sabha, then sent to the Select Committee. But what do we see on ground? Our reporter Runjun Sharma gets us this ground report from Haryana. Forget welcoming the move. There's a rush now to marry the girls who hit 18 before the amendment takes the shape of a law. The will to raise the legal marriage age of women from 18 to 21 has still not been passed. But it's had a shaky impact on the ground. For example, here in Mewap, many parents in a haste are getting their young daughters, 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, married off. As news broke of the new law, Akhtar Hussain got his 19-year-old daughter married off. Mm. 
Waiting another two years for her to turn 21 is not an option. Hussein has four more daughters and no time to waste. You have done your daughter's marriage very quickly. Why is that? Now, we have heard that a law is going to become a law. She will become a son of 22 years old. So, that's why we have done it. We have done it for 6 months. 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 The Mewat region in Haryana recently witnessed many such weddings of girls aged 18 to 20, while it's still legal to do so. There is a lot of concern over the new law to increase the marriage age of women to 21. <laughs> शाम के चार चार बजे या पांच बजे छह बजे हुकूमत कहे नहीं सुबह आठ बजे खाना खाना मुझे कहे रात को मुझे नौ बजे खानी है आठ बजे खानी इन नू पीपल आर मीटिंग लोकल रिलिजियस लीडर्स टू सीक हेल्प ऑन द मैटर जो हमारा फंडामेंटल राइट है वो एक तरीके से उसको दबा दिया गया है शादी का मर्जी का मामला है। 21 साल उम्र का जो फैसला किया गया है, हुकूमत को इस पर दोबारा गौर करना चाहिए। तो मैं सोच भी नहीं सकती कि 18 साल की उम्र में उसकी शादी तो। But a small section, including women, are welcoming the proposal. मेरे हिसाब से ये ठीक है, ताकि लोग अगर आराम से नहीं मानते तो कानून से तो मानेंगे। अगर इस उम्र में शादी होती है तो complications बहुत हो जाती हैं। बहुत सारे केसेस में वो खुद डिसीजन नहीं ले सकती कि उसको प्रेगनेंसी आगे रखनी है या नहीं रखनी है। मैं समझता हूँ कि यहाँ पर फिजिबल नहीं है और वो मानी भी नहीं होगी। अगर हम एजुकेशन में प्रॉपर एजुकेट कर दें किसी क्षेत्र को और देश को, तो मुझे लगता है कि इन ऐसे कानूनों की जरूरत ही नहीं होगी। the fight between reform and orthodoxy may have found another flashpoint. But can it be better than gender equality and the health of women? Reporting from Nu in Mewat, I'm Runjun Sharma. Joining me now on this debate, Varus Patan. He is the AIMIM national spokesperson and lawyer. Swati Malik, Congress spokesperson. Shazia Ilmi of uh, the BJP. She's a spokesperson of the party. And Surinder Singh Dankar, president of the Sarv Khab Mahapanchayat. Varus Patan, first to you. As you just heard the lady there, it's clear that women agree with the move. So why should community leaders and those like yourself, political leaders, all of you who are men, decide or force a decision on women? Well, let me tell you, a woman at the age of 18 is mature enough to understand what she is doing. A woman at the age of 18 has a right to elect an MLA, she can vote, to elect an MP, she so can, can the elect a Prime Minister of the country. So, allow me to make my point. I will come to that. Hmm. Man's age is they have kept 21, reduce it to 18. If they want to see that everything is equal, then they should reduce it to 18, no problems with that. Now. In US, UK, everywhere, wherever you see in the world, madam, what we have seen is that US, the age of the woman is 14. In UK and Canada, it is 16. In Australia, it's 19. It's Australia also is 16. Why only in India does Modi want to interfere into the personal liberty of an individual? A woman is, she must have a choice. She can enter into a contract for a living relationship. She can enter into a contract to have her own business. No problems with that. She can have physical relationship at the age of 18, no problems with that. But why Modi wants a girl to get married at the age of All right. 21? So, 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 so let, 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 let me, let me try and explain that to you, sir. She let me try and explain that to you, sir, and then I'll seek a response from you. Studies after studies have shown that women who are married off young are caught in a cycle of poverty, domestic violence, poor health because they have no control over when they can bear a child. They are too young to be able to stand up to pressures. Do you want the women in the country to remain like that? Forget about the world. Talk about our country. Talk about India. Talk about your, the women you know. Would you want the women to face such a situation? If no, then why not wait three years, sir? Well, if well, if Modi is so much concerned about the woman's safety and health, why does he not start some woman empowerment program? Why not some 
women awareness program what prevents them from doing so he talks about beti bachao beti padao but what is the condition of the beti why is there so much literacy in our country why the women don't become graduate at a particular age because of economic condition you improve the economic condition of the state of the women and then ultimately automatically and the sir, condition sir can of the, the economic condition why not be about the us allow me allow me just 10 seconds allow to study further then if the who who prevents the women from studying even after marriage we have seen so many of our sisters becoming lawyers doctors after the marriage nobody can prevent that a woman can study if she wants to after the marriage also i have personally seen so many but the thing here is now modi should issue a circular to all the hospitals in the country that wherever a child is born his name should be kept by modi Well, all right so basically eat, are, you go, are you opposing this sir are you opposing this largely because you because this is a political move is you that, believe is that the reason for opposition to this move no i i believe the scientists and the data in us are also proper the scientists they are not fools in us who have come to a particular statistic that the age 14 is proper for a woman to get married or 16 or 18 shazia almi they are not fools or uh, I'll, i'll go Modi across to shazia almi of the bjp shazia almi this and they know you have to get okay. married at this age itself this opposition appears to be largely a political move would you say simply because he didn't mention women as much as he mentioned uh, the prime minister's name in his entire defense uh, 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 which is uh, uh, of of uh, uh, you know not having the law which is so welcome and needed and a much necessary intervention surely the condition of indian women rural women and and even those in the cities and girls cannot be compared to those in canada and the us and that of germany i know which fool's paradise is uh, mr varis pathan living in surely he wouldn't wish, wish this on his own daughter or his own sister and we all know that a 18 year old girl is it's it's it's, well, it's one thing to go out and vote once in 5 years but to handle a whole family to to be a wife and to be a mother and to be a daughter in law and to do the domestic chores and to live and to be uh, as we all know to run a whole household and and to 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 perform the responsibilities of so, house shaza and me i'll interrupt you there since you since you agreed agreed at the outset unfair, and it's shameful okay. and it's shameful of the congress party since and of aimm that once again they let down the ordinary Uh, Shazia Almi, girl, child of okay, India. Okay, okay. Shazia Almi, hear me out. Hear me out. Since you agreed at the outset that this appears to be a political opposition, why did the government not push for the bill amendments to be passed in this session of Parliament itself? Why was it sent to the Select Committee then? You have the numbers in the Lok Sabha. You should have passed it. No, the uh, it was okay. So if we had passed it, what would have been the the issue that is not being considered? is not being deliberated upon it is not being sent to the select committee but you just passed so the electoral the reform bill there, there was a demand the to send it to the uh, to sent. a house panel no, no, no. So was I, it sent i think either way either way questions are was asked it but sent, what is the shazia elmi it, it wasn't question? was the triple talaq bill sent to a house panel despite there was already a supreme court ruling sent no because there was supreme court ruling uh, there was already a verdict it was a supreme did you send the electoral meeting. reform bill to a house panel no, you are saying that we are trying to I, I give I don't, I don't we are trying to give people i don't think let's have uh, to send a legality for, no no do not ask questions for the sake of it no no i am not asking a question for the sake of me, it i am just, just questioning the different parameters i am questioning the different parameters swati malik i have invited me to answer the question or just a second swati malik keep asking the question swati malik do you think at the end of the day because of these kind of Carry political on, pressures question, do yes. you think that th there is a possibility that this move no matter how progressive it is can be derailed so whether it will be derailed because it, now it has been sent to the standing committee so i'm sure the government i'm hoping that they invite a sort of a discussion on this and there is a, a dis uh, you know detailed discussion that takes place on this uh, bill but what is actually concerning is that even now when the age is 18 years old 30% of indian girls get married before the 18 years of age before the legal age 
so what we should actually be focusing on is what is the reason behind this why are girls getting married less than 18 or before 18 right so and so we can you know that is a problem that of course we have to contend with there are laws for it but what is your the point that you are making why shouldn't the age of women to get married be raised to 21 at least they should have the right. They can go to police and say that, look, I'm below 21 and I'm being forced to marry. Well, the Congress party is not opposing the 21. It is not opposing that aspect right now. What we were saying, what Mr. No, Gavoy said in the parliament. No, 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 no. One second. No, no. What, what he said in the parliament is because they were opposing because the bill had to be discussed. So it is the whole discussion which was lacking even then. It is only after Mr. Gavoy's statement that was referred to the standing committee. Otherwise, it would have been probably passed like the farmer's uh, law and then being repealed, etc. Right? Without any discussion. So it was the it is the lack of discussion. It is the lack of process being followed in the so parliament. So Swati Malik, the to. house can be in order, which we have seen the house not being in order. And here, both the treasury as well as the opposition benches need need to come together. If the political parties boast of standing by the women, then they should have come together and passed this bill. No party intended doing that. You have used the route of sending it to the select committee. I want to go back to Varis Patan. Varis Patan. No, that the only reason. The only reason for sending it back to the select, uh, select uh, the standing committee was also so that we can discuss the discussions have to be it's not it's not as binary as it looks there is there are detailed discussions which need to take place you also you yourself said you know it has to be the social conditions the economic conditions all those have to be considered and then some sort of a law no, has no, no. To be i passed. did not say that i did not say that that point was made by varis pathan that economic conditions have to be considered as well and that is the point that varis pathan i was trying to make why shouldn't women get the same uh, the, the bandwidth of time as the men to be able to be financially independent who gives a job to uh, anybody who is only 12th pass? Please tell me. An 18-year-old girl is only a 12th well, pass it. woman. Well, you asked several questions to Sajja. She got very annoyed and she also commented pers on me personally, asking me, will it be better for me if my daughter or my sister gets married at that age? I will no, also be little personal with Sajja. I'll ask her one simple question. At what age did you get married? It is not personally on no, you. Please, at what age, Sajja, did personal. you get married? Virus Pathan, if you took umbrage uh, to the have, fact that a personal comment was made, don't repeat that. Don't make a personal comment for Shazia then. I'm asking her another question. At the age of 18, did Shazia vote it or no? Did she use her vote at franchise to vote for I a particular MLA question, or right? MP? I she was make sure if she feels that she vote. Varis uh, Patan, go ahead. Chores, do you know what is, it is? And it's not, and the condition of a girl child is not the same as that of girls no, in if, Canada and Australia. So if you are not mature enough to vote, Means you voted for Modi, it was also immaturity you elected Modi as the Prime okay, Minister of the country. It was immaturity you, you voted for the BJP to power. Khan. Should you're we presume that? Mr. Modi. Should we presume that? No, should we presume that because you are immature to elect the government? Ji. And if Sajja try to Thank understand, so scientists, and, scientists are not that much fools in the US and the other opinion. part of the I mean, world that they will come to a particular stage. You want to interfere, obsessed. you want to interfere no, no, into the particular that. privacy of a person. That is somebody. why you want to introduce this bill. Allow me That's to make this is why my name is Mr. Modi, Mr. Modi. If so you like you. my name so much, kindly keep your name. I am very proud. Allow me to make my point, Shazia, allow no, you, you allow. Ah, you, you are proud that you are beginning. No, Mr. you voted Modi. at the age of 18. You are proud of a prime minister who is every day yes. interfering in your personal yeah, life, who is interfering in your privacy. He like wants you. to dictate terms who, to you. He is to, he's now to, become a headmaster. He is coming with a stick every morning and saying you have to do this. Do First he came for demonetization. He said demonetization will be better for the country. What happened? The black body is still there. Then he came to the farmer's bill is very important. It will be helpful for the farmers. What happened to the farmer's bill? Ultimately, he had to come before the nation and 
अगर महिलाओं की उम्र बढ़ाकर अठारह से इक्कीस की जा रही है शादी के लिए ये मूव तो वेलकम करना चाहिए नहीं इसमें वेलकम करने वाली क्या बात है तो बड़े दुख की बात है मैं इसको स्ट्रॉन्गली अपोज करता हूँ कंडेम करता हूँ क्रिटिसाइज करता हूँ क्यों दुख की बात है साल जो एज है वो बहुत अच्छी एज है देखिए जो एक गरीब व्यक्ति है अपनी बेटी को वो शिक्षा नहीं दे पाता लेकिन हर पिता की एक ख्वाहिश होती है कि अपनी बेटी के लिए एक अच्छा वर ढूंढे और अच्छा धनवान घर ढूंढे ताकि वो उसको शिक्षा दे सके तो सुरेंद्र जी के बाद वो शिक्षा मिल जाएगी सुरेंद्र जी लड़के की पढ़ाई जरूरी है लड़की की पढ़ाई जरूरी नहीं है क्यों नहीं है जरूरी दोनों की जरूरी है मेरी माता ने ली बाद में शिक्षा शादी के बाद मेरी बहनें हैं पीएचडी है एम ए एम एड है मेरी चाची है सुरेंद्र जी आ, आप आप लॉजिकली बताइए सुरेंद्र जी कितनी महिलाएं ऐसी हैं जिनकी 18 साल पे शादी हो जाए और वो उसके बाद भी पढ़ सकेंगी सुनिए क्यों नहीं पढ़ सकती है हिंदुस्तान के कैडर को देखिए आप आई एस आई को देखिए सारे गवर्नमेंट स्कूल के पास आउट है गवर्नमेंट एजुकेशन वाले कितने हैं उसमें गवर्नमेंट स्कूल तो लेकिन तो शिक्षा दे सकता वो गरीब है पाल पोस तो के बड़ा कर दिया नहीं नहीं शादी की उम्र अठारह ठीक है सुरेंद्र जी ये बताइए की गरीबी व्यक्ति अगर गरीब है तो उसके अगर एक बेटा है और एक बेटी है तो दोनों पे ये लागू होना चाहिए दोनों पे लागू होता है वो दोनों को ही नहीं पढ़ा पाता। लेकिन लेकिन के लड़के की शादी की उम्र तो 21 साल है ना जितने बच्चे पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेज में जाते हैं वो सब प्लस टू ही होते हैं वो गरीब घरों के होते हैं बच्चे गाँव से होते हैं देहात से होते हैं किसान के बच्चे होते हैं वो मजदूर के बच्चे होते हैं वो रईस घरों के बच्चे तो वैसे ही पढ़ लेते हैं About economic background being responsible for this, you have seen in the joint that was planned. No, 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 no. What is Patan? Let her respond to it, sir. Please, I am requesting you. Allow me. I don't know. Answer to my question. Shahzia, that is habit of interjecting. So do I have? आपने गलत साबित किया बताइए ना आपने एटीन की उम्र में वोट दिया तो आपने क्या गलत सरकार को चुन लिया आपने गलत गलत सरकार को चुन लिया आपने गलत सरकार को चुन लिया वो वोट देके वाइस डायरेक्टिंग दैट क्वेश्चन एट सुरेंद्र जी इंटरजेक्टेड यू आर डिड यू स्टॉप हर व्हाई डिड यू स्टॉप हर व्हेन शी वाज इंटरजेक्टिंग जी जी क्या क्या व्हाई डिड यू स्टॉप हर व्हेन शी वाज इंटरजेक्टिंग व्हेन आई वाज मेकिंग माय पॉइंट 
Baris Patan, I am requesting no, you now to give her time to speak because, speaking and because this debate will make no you know, sense at all and you if all of you speak over you each other. Shazia, help me. You don't have a point, Baris. All right, but please, please, please direct. Shazi Elmi, I think you had do a you question a or you, you wanted to counter yeah, the point made by Sunil Adhankar. Please do that. Varis Patan just hold on. He is just obsessed with Modi ji. He doesn't yeah. have any other opinion in his head. So I don't know why because he can appear so Because Modi is interfering in the personal life of individual. He is going against the constitution. He is going against the fundamental principles of the constitution. So it is my humble duty to correct him. Modi is going against the fundamental principles of the constitution. and right, I'll have to cut both of you out for the moment. Just a second. Let me go across to Swati Malik. Swati Malik. Do you believe at this stage that because of this kind of social and political opposition that we are seeing, this bill will be difficult to take forward and the Congress party, your party is perhaps pandering to this kind of social opposition here by saying that let's send the bill to the select committee, let's discuss it without giving the government the support to pass a bill of this nature. Why the Congress party has opposed it so far is also because what the Congress party wants to bring to everybody's notice is that even this bill is nothing but an eyewash. Because on one hand, BJP is talking about empowering empowerment, right? This is a, this is this bill is being passed on as empowering women. Whereas on the other side, other side, other side, on the other hand, what the women's ke empowerment सुरेंद्र जी क्या आपका ये कहना है आपका कहने का मतलब है कि ये मूव सरकार को लेने के लिए That's what I'm saying अगर ये women's empowerment की बात करते हैं women's protection मैंने नहीं की अरे मैं नहीं कर रही भाई तो जैसे ही twelfth pass करती है one thousand उसको monthly graduate दे तब तक नौकरी ना लगे अगर वो graduation कर लेती है उसको two thousand दे all right, we, we will have to wind up this debate here. We've completely run out of time. Many thanks to all uh, four of our panelists here. Clearly, uh, this bill that has been now sent to the select committee for a discussion is something that is being opposed both politically and socially. A reform bill, a progressive bill, however, will these hurdles derail the bill? That's the big question before all of us at the moment. Taking a very quick break now. Thanks for watching.